All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Oshinoko episode two. Man, that last episode was phenomenal. Um, yeah, this, I mean, just based off the first episode, this is absolutely a contender for anime of the year. Um, I don't have much to say about the last episode. Obviously, if you hadn't already seen my episode one reaction, go back and watch that on my channel. All my thoughts are in that outstanding direction, visual, story, plot so far. So, so good. Um, I'm liking the time skips. I'm liking now that it's gone into like a revenge kind of mystery story. Idol, actor kind of thing. We have now Aqua and Ruby who are, well, teenagers, I guess. And yeah, we're going to be following them now. So that's very cool. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Certain large-scale idol groups audition for additional members. Okay. 136,000 applicants. Successful applicants, 1,200. Holy shit. 1 in 12.7. Jeez. I wonder if Ruby will actually make it here. She definitely has the look of an idol. Is hey, she not a good singer? Yeah. You got to be cautious of this world though, right? Like, the way your mom went out. So it looks like she's now made it past, well, she's definitely made it past her age of what she was in her previous life. Oh. Rewatch the scene again where she was dying with Ruby and Aqua. And it was so sad for Ruby as well when she couldn't be there. She hasn't gotten to this point in life yet. So this is her first time going through high school entrance exams and stuff. Whereas her older brother here is already an experienced adult. Yeah, legit. It's hard work, man. The eyes. So pretty. Aqua's definitely going for the better job here, probably. Being an actor. You'd be a lot better off, and you don't have to retire at 30. Oh, the now step-in mother took over the agency. Managing uh, internet personalities. It's probably not bad business. She's not the mom, she's the step-mom. She's the mom that stepped up. I was definitely like a one in a million type person, for sure. Gotta answer the call. Did she get it? Did, did she get it? Oh, I don't like that look. She didn't get it. Really? Oh, what? Bro, she's very idol like. What the hell? Oh, poor thing. Yeah, it's a hard role to get into. Yeah, that poster in the background, Foam Club. <laughs> hmm. Wonder what that's supposed to be based off. Wait, so the person that she spoke to on the phone was not the actual agency? Damn. Bro, that's awful, man. I get it, but like, this is her choice. She knows the risks. Though so it's his sole mission to take out their dad, basically. Underground idol group? Seems kind of fishy. I'm guessing by that uniform that they're actually only in middle school at the moment, not high school. <laughs> they're both fucking fishy about this. Wait, that uniform was different in the uh, <clears throat> first episode. Well, is this like a bit before what we saw in the first episode? Like they, that was them going into high school? She's so sweet for what, they, what she's done for these kids so they didn't have to go into foster care. Is this one of the girls from I's group? 
Oh, I guess not. She's a bit young. Uh, he kind of is. I don't know what his plan is right now. Oh, so she's a part of that group. Okay. God, it's crazy. <laughs> he, he does. I mean, he looks young, of course, but he's not giving off a middle schooler vibe right now. This sounds fucking trash. So most ones I don't even take 100,000 yen home. Jeez. That's like a part-time job. Yeah, this isn't a good to be going into. A uh, good group, sorry. Well, she really spilled the beans there. That was a good plan. Yeah, all kinds of ways. His eyes, like, th as they're supposed to sparkle, are so dull in this point in his life. I wonder what he's going to do to stop her from getting into this group. Yeah, you definitely need to be aware of that. But have you actually taken it into your head, though? Well, sounds like she knows enough, at least. Yeah? You're actually going to set up an idol group in the agency? Nice. Good management. People you can trust. Let's go. Sign of the contract. <laughs> we'll sue you. It's your daughter. Yeah, this is the best outcome. What the hell? You look like a Psyche K character. <laughs> Man's fucking toes just in the fucking corner of the screen. Thanks, anime. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Man, do you have to show me that again? Jeez. I want him to royally fuck up this dude when he finds him. Like, real torture shit. <laughs> that blonde hair didn't just come from nowhere, though. This man has got to be a shining blonde. Surely. Another thing I've just remembered as well. Is it going to be a plot point at some point where he, like, finds his own body from his previous life? Or somebody does, at least. Is he still out there? Can't win the lottery if you don't buy a ticket, Nightcrawler. <laughs> this guy is definitely a filmy guy. Mother, please, go away. <laughs> yeah, still living at home. <laughs> oh, this man. <laughs> Spitting, bro. Oh, it's what she wanted for him as well. Bitch! Get the fuck out of here! These two are going to be like stars of the school. Like with their looks and shit. Quite the name you've got there. Yeah, <laughs> the name. Oh, this girl, lol. Damn, her eyes as well. Jeez. <laughs> My god. Yeah, you really wanted to meet him again? Right, so that was Oshinoko episode 2. That was a much more light-hearted episode than the previous episode. Obviously, there's still the underlining tone of, I'm going to kill my fucking dad. But, like, <laughs> I get it. Um, yeah, it was a very good episode. I'm really liking like the push towards this now. It's interesting that we started on the high school aspect of it the last episode, or the end of the last episode. And we started with them being in middle school in this case, and now they are interviewing and then likely about to go into high school, maybe in the next episode. That's maybe where then the time skip 
gets up to in present day. Um, yeah, I like the idea that Aquamarines kind of... Uh, Aqua, I'm just going to say Aqua. is kind of just like fighting with the idea of like he doesn't need to become an actor, he just needs to get into the industry. But thinking about that his mom did actually want for him to be an actor, and he definitely has the talent for it. Or at least he did as a kid. And, um, well, he's acting his ass off pretty much every day, so, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. It kind of sucks that he, uh, at first, was stopping uh, Ruby from getting into these adult groups. But it turned out well, because he, she's now working with a trustable agency. She's working with her mum, or her step um, which is cool. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, and Kanna, was it? Kanna? Yeah, the redhead girl, um, who's now back in the picture. She seems to have a different personality from what she was as a kid. She clearly respects Aqua's acting ability and seems was very shocked to find out, obviously, that he wasn't going into the acting department. Um, but uh, hopefully he actually goes into it or maybe joins the drama club. I don't know. Yeah, overall, a very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.